Alright, it's finally time to talk about Hot Wheels Unleashed. Being that it's been a couple of months since release, the overall hype and excitement has subsided. This means I feel way more confident that we all can have a good discussion about this game, because Unleashed has very glaring problems that cannot go unaddressed. Let's take a look at the issues with Hot Wheels Unleashed. In Unleashed, there are no vehicle classes. All the cars can race together, which sounds cool on paper, but this is not a great setup as underperforming vehicles are pretty much useless. Dragon Shark has an amazing Steam Guide that rates the fully upgraded vehicles into different tiers. What we can see from this guide is that there's a good amount of vehicles that lack critical stats to be viable in racing. You can see this issue very clearly with the Accelerace's Races Diora 2. People are upset that this DLC vehicle was very underwhelming, with many saying that they need to improve it. If they had vehicle classes, then this wouldn't have been an issue because it would have been appropriate for a slower car class. Instead, players are just going to end up gravitating to the best cars while ignoring the weaker ones. What's the point of using a slower, less capable car that will put you at a huge disadvantage? I cannot stress how big of an issue this is, as you will see later on that this one design choice has a cascading effect on other aspects of the game. The harder difficulties are way out of whack. On hard and extreme, the AI has a ton of rubber banding and boost. This turns even some of the slower cars into absolute speed demons when the AI has control. It's already hard enough to win using the best vehicles, but you cannot keep up when using less capable cars. If you want to use an underperforming vehicle, you actually have to lower the difficulty to medium or easy in order to be able to win with it. The higher difficulties need to be readjusted. They have to scale depending on the vehicle you choose, plus the absurd amount of rubber banding and boost needs to be lowered. Unleashed has two ways of getting new vehicles. The first method is the blind box system. You can either win these blind boxes or get them with coins that can be only gained through playing the game, so no actual money is required. However, this unlock method just sucks. It works similar to loot box systems in other games, meaning you don't know what you'll get and duplicates are very common. The second method is the limited offers. You get 7 random cars that can be bought with those coins and these offers refresh periodically giving you another random 7. This is at least better, but you'll still get vehicles that you already own shown on the store. You might also have to pay more credits for these vehicles than just outright purchasing the blind boxes. None of these methods feel like you are rewarded for your hard work. It's all based on random chance if that vehicle you want will come from a blind box or show up in limited offers. So what happens when there are no vehicle classes with an unlock system that can give the player any car in the game? The result is that Unleashed has a very lackluster sense of progression. You don't go from slower vehicles and work your way up as you can start out with some of the most capable cars right away. The only real notable progression is that the tracks get more complex the further you go into career. I know some players might not care about this, but this is going to put a lot of people off from the game. Normally, the point of a racing game is to start off slow and work your way up. That basic fundamental is missing here, which means a crucial part of the experience for many players is just gone. I did previously talk about how I believed Unleashed was overpriced when compared to games like Forza Horizon 5. While I do agree my points were not the best in that video, the monetization scheme in this game has only added to this original problem. So far, there are a total of 3 season passes planned. Assuming each season pass will be $30 like the first one, that means you'll spend $90 for all 3 passes. That is almost the same price as 2 copies of the game. On top of this, if you buy the Ultimate Stunt Edition, you don't even get the third season pass. What's the point of a $90 Ultimate Edition that doesn't have all the content? They also have Racing Seasons, which are limited time battle passes that have to be bought separately, even if you own the season passes. Being the Racing Seasons do not last forever, they are punishing people that will buy this game months or years after its release. 
If you want the content from a racing season that you missed, then you're out of luck. This isn't a free-to-play or Call of Duty type game where the developers can get away with this monetization. This is an arcade racer, and like I covered in my video, the gaming industry doesn't understand the arcade racing market, many arcade racing fans will not put up with this. Don't get me wrong, I am all for additional content, but how they went about it was poorly done. While buying the DLC items individually is not too bad, the season passes, racing seasons, and the price of the game needs to be adjusted. The planned content should only be spread across two season passes. Also, the racing seasons should not be time limited and should be included in the season passes. Lastly, regarding the price, it's pretty telling that I was able to grab the base game on sale for $30 on the Switch in early December. Steam shows the base game has gone on sale for $35 three times since release. That isn't even accounting for the other two editions of the game, but it seems that Unleashed is struggling at its current price tag. While Hot Wheels Unleashed has very fun gameplay when everything goes right, I just cannot recommend this game in its current state. Unleashed needs some serious reworking to reach its full potential, as it suffers from inept design choices that leaves the game feeling unrewarding, unbalanced, and expensive. Milestone, it's time to fix Hot Wheels Unleashed. This has been Gamer Alex. I hope you enjoyed the video and have a great day.